A great entertainer comes along who you will never forget. We couldn't find that entertainer. <laughs> However, we did find someone who won't bore you. And now, it's my great pleasure to present the one, the only... Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your magician for this evening. Introducing the magic of Frank Thurston. All right, folks, that is your cue. Let's make some noise! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Great Southern California Fair. My name is Frank Thurston. I am indeed a magician, which means, quite simply, it is my job to magish for everyone here today. So hope you're ready to see some magic, and you are. I can see it in your eyes. Now, we're going to do some magic, some prestidigitation, some leisure domain. That means some pretty tricky stuff. Yeah, but in order for that to work, I'm going to need some assistance, some help some audience volunteers. Now, if you want to be selected, it's very simple. All you have to do is follow some very easy rules. Now, they're easy rules, but if you follow them, chances are we'll bring you up. You can be the star of our show. Yeah. You'll win the love and admiration of all of your friends. But, but, and this is your big but. <laughs> oh, nothing personal there, folks. Sorry about that. <laughs> You'll also win a lovely parting gift. That's right. Prizes for for my helper. So here's the rules if you'd like to help. Rule number one, you must be sitting down flat but straight up. That is rule number one. Yep, flat on your bumpers everybody. Very good. Rule number two, a big smile is needed. That is rule number two. Oh, you got some good smiles out there. Rule number three, you must raise your hand so I can see you. That is rule number three. Aren't you glad you used dial, sweetheart? Yeah, don't you wish everyone did? Yeah, me too. And rule number four, which is my personal favorite, you must give me Frank Thurston, $20. Now, bring your money right over here. Single file line, no pushing, no shoving. ATM cards, Visa, MasterCard, America. Out of state checks. <laughs> All right. One of these days that's going to work. You guys are too smart. We'll do it for free. But I tell you what, we're going to start things off tonight in a rather unusual way. Now, I am not a hypnotist, but when you see this, you might think about hypnosis. But don't worry, gang. We are not going to put you in a trance and make you do something silly like go home and clean your room. Now, we're going to show you guys a real true illusion. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta warn you, this is gonna happen right inside your very own brains. <laughs> I hope most of you brought yours with you today. <laughs> now here's what's gonna happen, gang. I'm gonna start spinning this disc like so. <laughs> what I want everybody in the audience to do is to keep your eyes focused boink, right there on the dead center. There is a pink spot there, that is your focal point. Keep your eyes on that pink spot and whatever you do, do not look away. Now it's okay to blink, but please don't take your eyes off that pink spot and let me explain why. In a few seconds, I will count backwards from five to one. And when I get to one, not yet, but when I get to one, you will stop looking at the wheel and look directly at my nose. Now if you do, you should see something weird and strange and I don't just mean my face. No, you're going to see the illusion that my head will actually appear to shrink down to about the size of a softball. So check it out. Keep watching that pink spot as it goes round and round. I'll count backwards from five to one, then watch my nose. Here we go. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Look at my nose. <gasps> Big round of applause if you saw that. Isn't that weird? <laughs> it's kind of creepy, huh? Now we're going to do it again. We're going to do it again because I don't know why, but for some reason, the second time, it's about a hundred times stronger. So if you didn't see it the first time, I'm sure you'll see it this time, but I do need a volunteer to help me out today. And uh, young sir right there, would you come up and help me? Give this boy a big round of applause. Here he comes. How you doing, buddy? What's your name? Oh, I'm sorry, that's wrong. You have to go back. No, come here, I'm just kidding, Mark. <laughs> Stand up nice and tall, Mark. Eyes straight ahead, good. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do it again. Only this time, we're going to spin the disc in the opposite direction. Now, again, everybody keep your eyes on that pink spot. But this time, this time when I count backwards from five to one, you're not going to look at my nose. No, no, no. You're going to look at young Mark's nose. And when you do, you're going to see his head grow to ginormous proportions, like a big balloon inflating check it out this is gonna be cool as we count backwards from five to one watch his nose here we go let's go five four three two 
One, look at his nose. <gasps> oh, <wow. laughs> Let's give him a big round of applause. That was cool. Good job, Mark. <laughs> Now, I'll tell you what, buddy. Come on back, come on back. you got a special surprise for you. It's a big bottle of Tylenol for those headaches you're going to get later. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a magical activity book. Now, what is the magical activity book, you ask? I'm glad you did. Ladies and gentlemen, they are filled with games and puzzles, the history of magic, coloring pages, but what makes them so cool is inside there are 12 secret magic tricks that you're going to be able to learn to go home and fool your friends using items you'll find around the house. Things like kerosene, microwave ovens, razor blades, you know, stuff like that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give that boy a big round of applause. Good job, buddy.